right now we're working on vendor acquisitions, so I have the interns as of yesterday and myself calling some of my former Design Digest magazine clients and we're really connecting with them. They're basically what we're doing now is just retooling that experience, putting it into one online store and asking if they want to be vendors to sell on Luxroot. So Greg and I today are going to see Brian Woods at Brian's Art Gallery. And Brian right now is closing down his store. He is not selling direct from the store, so he's really happy that he would have a place to sell online. He's got some really um, very luxurious art products. Then from there, we're going over to Mr. Shop. And Mr. Shop is a custom clothier for men. They also sell some really high-end retail brands. So now we're well on our way to having at least 50 vendors on the website by demo day. And what I would like to do is reach out to those of you people in the community that can help me with introductions to those high-end vendors. This week, we, uh, we optimize the website and um, the marketing campaigns as well. And as a result, we, uh, we got many more subscribers on the newsletter. Uh, we uh, improve the quality of our traffic and we actually generate a lot more sales. Yes. Um, that, that was the most exciting part. Yesterday, the bomb just dropped. We um, generated six sales. We made a thousand dollars in revenue in just one day, which was quite exciting. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we're rolling now and it continues going like this throughout the week. Um, but definitely exciting um, the way it started so far. The partnership with the um, Songwriting Association of Canada is also super exciting. Um, they announced us as their sponsor for the competition that they're running throughout July. So they will tweet about us a lot, they will talk about us a lot throughout the whole competition, which hopefully will drive also quality traffic to our website. All right. In the big world of Park Me, we released our app last week, and since then we've had about 30 downloads. Uh, we've been invited to present in the Saratoga Springs Smart City Festival next month. And we've been in talks with local security companies to start using our software on their platform and just expanding our technology. Um, in addition, we're also, we've been working with Illinois College where um, we should be um, sending out a survey soon to faculty, staff and employees to um, see if they want to sign up to do our beta testing and to get their response on how they feel about parking is here. And um, if you want, you can check out our newsletter, which we publish every week and um, at www.parkme.com. And on the tech side, this week we've been experimenting with our fourth generation of camera sen oh, of sensors in general, actually. Um, the sensors will have um, onboard processing, they'll be cheaper, and they'll use less power, so it should be much easier to install in places and um, just be better all around. Appius, uh, this has been an exciting week for us. We had a couple of signups uh, for our beta program. And uh, we actually had an interactive session with one of the customers of our product um, a couple of days ago and they gave us really good feedback and few feature requests. So they wanted um, an inbuilt browser into the app to share with their peers and also the ability to see where the user is clicking inside of their app uh, for the customer support vertical that we're addressing. We've also been doing a lot of development in our SDK and our backend to improve stability, scalability, um, and um, bug fixes. <laughs> um, so along those lines of the customer support vertical, I'm really trying to explore it some more. So we've been updating content on our website, that an educator video that is specifically geared towards the benefits of customer support that Appius can bring them. Um, and finally, what we need uh, from um, viewers this week is we're really trying to get more users for our app and looking for app makers that can benefit from the customer support angle of app use. So, you know, if, you know, if you go to our website and you know sign up, we would we would love to work with any one of you um, with our beta test. We spent we were right just last week and we spent the whole week for sessions, interesting mentor sessions, met a lot of people that gave us a lot of insights. And now we're discussing all of that with our sales team in Barcelona in order to start implementing the techniques that we learned. And we already have done the whole research of the East Coast market. So we're gonna start approaching now them with the cold calls and emails that we have prepared together with the mentors. Actually, yesterday our interns started doing their first cold calls and had the luck to present the One New York Museum uh, our solution and over a shared screen session. And the guy said that actually with our technology, he could save hours of work a day. He was a content editor for a museum. 
uh, with the previous solution that they're using right now. Uh, everything was more complicated, but thanks to Cloud Guide, they could save uh, lots of time on uh, content managing there. So we're very happy to see these results already here in the first week, and certainly we hope to contact uh, many more in the next next weeks as our sales offers here go on. Uh, we're always happy to collaborate and if you have any contacts in uh, the travel or cultural industry, we have uh, great ways of collaboration. For sure we can work something out. We appreciate it. Thanks.